Do you run a Linux server and constantly have to manage your cron jobs through the command line? We have a great container for you today called Cronmaster. This is basically a UI dashboard that looks something like this for managing cron jobs along with automatic scripting. Today I'm going to show you how to install this on TrueNAS through Dockage and how to set up some cron jobs and some scripts on your Linux server all managed through this beautiful UI. Let's jump right in. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is jump over to our TrueNAS instance, go to data sets and create some configs for Cronmaster. So let's go ahead and jump into my configs folder here. I'm gonna add a data set for Cronmaster. I'm gonna leave this with generic permissions and hit save. Now that I've got my data set set up, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my apps and then jump into my dockage page. Here, I'm gonna start a new compose stack. I'm gonna call this Cronmaster. And then I'm gonna go over to the wiki and search for Cronmaster at the top. I'm gonna to copy this docker compose file right back into dockage and paste. I'm not gonna make any changes to this at all because I already have a mount take configs cron master data set. If you don't have one of those or if yours is in a different place, go ahead and edit this line right here and then the volumes down below. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Now that the container is deployed, I'm going to go ahead and click the little pill here and I'm in cron master. Here on the dashboard, we can see a few things. First off, it gives me the system status on the left. I can see the memory that's used right now, the CPU that's being used. There is no GPU in this machine and the network latency. Down here, I can get a quick performance summary of the CPU usage, memory usage, and network latency. In the center section here, I have both cron jobs and I have scripts. I can either create a cron job or create a script. Starting on my cron jobs, if I wanna schedule a task, I can go ahead and create my first task right now. You can see here, it's gonna run as user root. It's on the schedule run all the time right now, and I'm gonna to get to that in a minute. We have the option of picking some quick patterns. So here, instead of using the all the time schedule, it can show me runs every minute of the hour, which is what's currently selected, how to run it every five minutes, 15, 30. So these are already pre-made patterns that I can go ahead and select. So for example, if I wanted to run this every day, for example, at midnight, I can go ahead and check this pattern and it automatically fills in my schedule here. I can go ahead and run a custom command here, or I can run from a saved script. We can see here I have no scripts available yet. I can set a description here and then I can go ahead and create tasks. For a command, I could run something like apt update and I can go ahead and say updates my server as a description. I can go ahead and create this task and now we can see my task here for apt update runs every day at midnight. I can execute the cron job by using this button right here. I can go ahead and edit the cron job by clicking that button there. I can copy and duplicate this if I wanna make something like it and just possibly change the schedule that it runs on. I can pause this from running and you can see the little pause flag comes up right there. I can resume it and I can go ahead and delete it. Let's talk about scripts. Scripts are one of the things that makes Cronmaster very powerful. When I jump over to the script side, I can go ahead and create a custom script called new script and I'll give it a test description. So in here, I can go ahead and start scripting if I want to, however, I have the option of selecting pre-built scripts if I want. Here, I can search from all scripts. I can look at conditionals, database, file operations, loops, or system operations. I'll pick systems operations. Here, that's made a filter on this left side to show me only scripts that are pre-built for system operations, like check disk space. You'll see here on the right side, it has now overwritten my script and given me a quick script to do check disk space. I have a couple comments here that tells me what it is and what it does. In this case, it alerts if the disk usage is above 90%. This is the command it's going to run, and this is the output it's going to have. Disk usage is some percentage, or a disk space alert. Let's go ahead and create this script. Now, if I want to use this script, I can go ahead and check my cron jobs over here, create a new cron job. I'll run this schedule once a day at midnight to check my disk space, and I'm going to use it from a saved script. And here's my new script that tests my space. I'm going to select this script after I've looked at the preview to confirm that it is the script that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and create this task. Now, even though I just created this task to demo how this works, TrueNAS is actually not a great place to run this. In fact, I really like this for Proxmox containers, LXCs running inside TrueNAS, or virtual machines running inside TrueNAS. TrueNAS as an operating system has a lot of this built into the UI already. So I would not run this against the TrueNAS host itself. I would use this inside of containers I build inside TrueNAS, containers I build inside Proxmox, or virtual machines I'm hosting somewhere in my network. If I run this on TrueNAS, it will work some of the time, but I had to do a little bit of stuff in the background in order to get this to run. And in reality, it doesn't run very well against TrueNAS because TrueNAS has already got some middleware that does all this for the UI. That being said, I think this container is still pretty amazing. I love what it does and I'm absolutely gonna use it in my home lab because I have tons of systems that aren't just TrueNAS that includes containers and other virtual machines which would benefit from having this dashboard. If this is something you guys wanna run on your home lab, please let me know, leave a comment below. If you wanna have a discussion about this and how I got this working for TrueNAS, jump on our Discord and please start a support ticket. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Give us a big thumbs up below and let us know you like this video. And if you want to thank me personally, please buy me a coffee.